Hey, I know what you're thinking, and you're right. I really do need to change the light bulb in this room. Anyway, I'm TJ Piccolo. This is your daily prayer for July 9th, 2020. Um, I've done a lot of daily prayer videos recently that have focused on anti-racism. Um, being anti-racist is the notion that it's not enough to just not be racist, but we must be actively anti-racist, right? And I thought it would be helpful today to share with you some scripture that has informed um, my opinion on why anti-racism is so important. Uh, I'm going to read the Tower of Babel story to you. This is from Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9. Hear the word of God. Now the whole, the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, Look, they are one people, they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because the Lord, there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. That's our scripture reading for today, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God, right? Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. Um, it's kind of a confusing bit of scripture. At least it was to me for a long time. <laughs> um, one of the, what do we notice right away? One of the things I notice is that this, is, this story is the creation of languages, right? Um, and one of the other things I notice is what the people are getting wrong. Uh, they're being prideful. Let us make a name for ourselves. No communication with God about building this, this tower. No communication in asking God for help with building this tower. They think they can do it without God, right? Which I can relate to. I think a lot of people can relate to. Unfortunately, we don't think we need God and are often proved wrong, right? So um, there's pride. There's some prideful nature to the people. The other thing I think is important to bring up about the scripture is that it's it's supposed to be read in conjunction with a lot of the Genesis stuff that came before it, especially Genesis chapter 1, which is the first creation account, right? And um, in, in verses 26 and 29, it talks about God giving humanity dominion over all the earth and its living things, right? We have dominion. We have responsibility to the earth and its creatures and other humans. Uh, the people building the tower are resisting the call to go out into the world, right? They don't want to leave. but So they're resisting the call to go out into the, into the world when we're supposed to take care of all of the world. When <laughs> well, we're supposed to take care of all of the world, they're trying to stay put. So that doesn't really jive with God's vision, right? So some of us have been lucky enough to travel to other cities and states and countries and have met people outside of Nashville. Now, it's not um, bad to never leave our home, especially if we don't have the resources to do so. But there are a lot of good things that come from getting out of our context, if we're lucky enough to do so, right? We get to learn from others, we get to experience other languages, we get to see different plants and animals in, in their natural habitats, we get to see local art, we get to appreciate other cultures. Um, in short, we grow. We get to appreciate other people and cultures, and this reduces othering. Othering being diminishing the worth of other people because they are the other, right? Um, <clears throat> so, God spread us over the earth, and with that came the beauty of different languages and cultures. And to me, that says that this passage lifts up diversity, right? It, it speaks out against oneness. And when I say oneness, I don't mean 
oh, we're all moving in unison as a community. Um, we're all together in solidarity. That's not what I mean by oneness. I mean identicalness, right? <laughs> and there's been plenty of parts in history where identicalness has been dangerous and bad. Nazis wanted identicalness, right? Not good. So this scripture is pro-diversity, identicalness, bad, right? So to me, it's saying, God is saying, look, I created all kinds of people, which has influenced all kinds of culture, food, music, art, sports, all this stuff. Go out and enjoy it. Embrace it. That's important. No one is supposed to be the same. I don't want that. That's boring. There's richness and perspective and, and, and different peoples in different places, right? If you go out and enjoy that, you're enjoying my creation. Um, to me, so that's important, right? I don't want to like go out and enjoy other cultures. Or if you meet someone from another culture, get to know them. You know, that's good. Embrace other people. Embrace people who are not the same as yourself, right? Um, but we can't stop there. You know, one of the things that stuck out to me is. Um, you know, some rappers I like when they, I've, I've heard it expressed by like, you know, black rappers saying, Hey, I am you, you know, white people. You like it when I rap about trivial things like A, B, and C things that don't really matter. But when I actually take time to speak from my platform and tell you the ways I am hurting as a black person. You're not listening. You're not coming through for me. Um, and a lot of, you know, I've noticed a lot of black athletes have expressed similar sentiments. So it's not enough to just be like, hey, black rapper, I enjoy your music. It's also like, if you support an artist, you need to also listen to the artist when they're saying things that are very personal to them and ways they're hurting ways they're experiencing racism. We don't get to just blow that off. We don't get to just enjoy the artistry. We also have to take seriously and listen with prayerful and empathetic hearts when someone is saying they're hurting, right? That's also what it means by pro-diversity. It also means <laughs> reaching out, listening, not just all the fun stuff that cultures bring, but also the pain cultures bring. You have to listen to that. You have to find a way to walk alongside and support other cultures, other peoples. Um, because again, we're, you know, everyone is called to take care of the earth. We're supposed to be, we're looking out for each other. That's what God wants. And sometimes looking out for each other is listening and self-reflecting, right? That's why anti-racism is so important. We're trying to do our best right now as white people. A lot of us are trying to educate ourselves and look inward and say, what ways have I might have hurt people of color or the black community without even knowing it? That, that's what a lot of anti-racism work is. Um, anyway, so I think the Tower of Babel, in short, doesn't want identicalness and um, wants diversity. Yeah, so I hope that helps you. Uh, I, I, it, this is a bit of scripture that really helped me. And um, yeah, thanks for being with me today. Let's say a short prayer and then I'll head out. <clears throat> Lord God, we are grateful that you are not a God of oneness. No vegetation, no vegetation is identical. No animal behaves exactly the same. Instead, you bring us the richness of culture, language, and the world itself. Help us to rely on you. You can help us do all kinds of things through you and the unifying Holy Spirit. You can help people who speak different languages understand and appreciate each other, just like the story of Pentecost. Lord, we thank you for the earth. Um... God, please guide us to get out of our context and comfort zones from time to time and lead us all over the face of the earth and to live into your call to take care of our great big world. 
and all its peoples. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.